if you make any kind of generalization about men, you are going to lose every time because there are as many kinds of men out there as there are of colors of OPI nail polish. Let me tell you, girlfriends, it is quite a range, both in sexuality and paternal investment. Anthropologists know that Homo sapiens have the widest range of paternal investment of any primate species. And by the way, they tell this because they look at scrotum size. Yeah, the family jewels. So imagine this. You got chimpanzees and and scrotum size relative to body weight is what I'm talking about. So you've got chimpanzees, uh, large uh, coconuts, and kind of small frame, very promiscuous. Then you look at the other end of the scale, orangutans, tiny little chestnuts, big hulking body, um, very paternal and loving and monogamous. And in between, and where do you have the human male, by the way? Everyone says that, hmm, let's see, somewhere in between. So. Again, do not judge one particular man and his ball size relative to body size. We're talking about species wide, okay? But within the human species, you've got this giant range. You've got some men who invest so much in their offspring and others who invest very little. They have little paternal investment. So one man's investment in, an in his offspring might be as small as one teaspoon of sperm. Another man's investment in his offspring might be that he's a baby wearing, softball throwing, carpool driving, doting dad. And the the same goes for sexual behavior. Some men are very promiscuous, other men are very monogamous. Let's think about why. Back in our hunter-gatherer past, when we roamed in encampments of around 35 humans, many of them, most of them related to us, there were still guys that stayed around. There were the ones who practiced monogamy, there were the ones who protected all the small ones, and hey, since they weren't out getting a woolly mammoth, a Super Bowl ring, whatever you call it, um, they were instead staying home and inventing stuff. Remember fire? The wheel? Okay, so today you've got Bill Gates and you've got Tiger Woods, and there's everything in between. So it's really important when you're looking at men to think, well, why can't he be like that one? Well, he may not be like that one. It's about you choosing the right target guy for your mate who's going to make your life better. So open your eyes. There are lots of different kinds of men out there.